Hi guys, how are you today? So I found this question on Unreal Engine forum. This guy asking if we can emit particle from point of a line. He knows that we can emit from the geometry. If you have a geometry single line, you can emit from the vertex, but he wants another way to do it. So I have already did it like this. So particle emitted from some point from a line. See, so let's check it how we can do it. So basically I just fix it here we have a single emitter i'll just close it and i'll create again and we'll see other th options also so i'll take this fountain uh, new emitter and i'll search here fountain or can just go to empty apex test and here i'll just take a new emitter and i'll just add fountain so basically if you have a fountain I'll just delete this velocity, uh, gravity and velocity. We have this shape and you can take the slender of course and you can make the radius zero. You have a line and you can increase the height. And if I add a velocity on like X axis, particle already emitting from random points. But what I did in my output, I have some specific points here. So these are random. So basically, if uh, if you turn this off and if you have uh, just let me duplicate this if you have just some particles like you have a burst and you have like 10 particles they are all emitting on each other so what you can do if i just take here position or you can go here also this position you can break this and on the z if I just multiply it or just directly connect it with the execution index, I can increase it. And now see, we have a line with the same distance. I can make the turn of the size and make the size of particles same. So see, we have this, but they are just emit once because I'm using spawn burst. Instead of if you use the spawn rate and let's say you have 100, or maybe 50 or like this so because every time id is changing particle are dying so it will make these things different okay so how to fix that so basically what i did you have to take a slender okay and turn on this you have to take a slender and let me also make these okay after this here you have to take a scratch pad module okay and in this just take the position and then take a flow and then divide and make it float and then set the position again so i'll take the position and this math logic how it works let me show you first if you have a material and you have any gradient like this okay so you have a gradient so if you like take a floor and then divide and then pay per view because that position has very high numbers so you can multiply here like 10 or 5 so you see this is making this layering and with the same space so this is what we are doing with the position right so i'll just turn it off i'll just hit apply close this and now if you put a low value here and 0 0.05 see you can make this slender height less and you have the same amount of space okay you can increase the spawn rate because spawning is divided in these points so sometimes it is here sometimes it is here so that's why we have some gap but if you increase this you can increase it okay another way if you don't want this thing to like change the uh, the, the gapping what you can do you can simply uh, just duplicate it and what i did earlier 
so i'll just delete all these things i'll just take the burst i'll make it once make it life infinite and here in the position i'll break it and take an execution index and let's say you have 10 particles and you make the gap like this i don't need all these so now you can call it source and then this fountain i'll delete all these things and i'll just type here from and the type here the name source fix it there will be another module and then you can add velocity and anything like this so now gapping is same everything is same so you can also do this so life let's make it same cool so you can also do that so now here you can increase or decrease the gapping and then there's a spawn rate here that you can increase or decrease cool so these are the two ways two three ways i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning bye bye